Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Show. And I just wanted to do a wanted to do a quick little demo on mixing a song with the NMSQ. If you don't have a fader port or any other kind of mixing and you like to use your hands, it's actually quite cool. I'm just going to dive right into it here. <clears throat> Uh, so you see I've got my Atom all set up here, uh, and I'm ready for mixing. A couple of settings that you might want to actually check out first. And not the least, put on my headphones here, <coughs> not the least of which is setting up the strip uh, to control the actual volume faders. All right, so what you do is you go into Instrument, and you page through the options until you get to Strip. And you use the knob here to page through all the different things. Whoops, you got to select it first. There we go. Uh, so you use the knob here to page through all the options, and you just go to Channel Volume. So it says CH Volume. All right, so once you've actually done that and you're opened up in your song, go back to Song Mode. And here we have the ability to open and close the console. You have the ability to open and close the inspector, as well as uh, solo, mute, and record. Uh, so you use these two arrows to go through and select your tracks. And if I reset all of my faders, a lot of you guys don't have this reset option, but I'm going to reset all my faders. We're going to go through each of the tracks. I'm going to show you how the strip works. It, it's, it's very accurate, and it's really easy to use. So if you really are deciding on whether you want to get an Atom SQ so you can actually play some instruments and things like that, as well as control your mix, uh, this might be what you want. It takes a very little space, and I have at times taken my fader port off the desk and used this. All right. So, uh, here are the navigation buttons for the tracks, and this is just a really short song, a really old song from 2010, and um, I divided it up uh, using the uh, stems option, the separate stems option in Studio One, and I just wanted to kind of use it to, to demo the options here. So, here we go. Here is uh, the song. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. You've got all your transport functions right here. And there we go. So now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to the drum track and I'm going to turn it up first. There you go. Now I'm going to go to the bass. Let's go to the piano and strings. Just like that. Very cool. And the vocals. She knew everybody's names. She said she'd seen the future. Nice. How much time remains. All right. So now if I go back to the instrument button and go back to the strip, I can actually now set it to pan. Now we're going to go back to the drum track. We're going to pan that in the middle. And the bass is really hard left. There we go. I'm just going to go a little bit left. And then the piano and strings, I kind of like where they're at. And I'm going to bring the vocals in the center. Going to go back to the strip. Go back to volume. There we go. I think I can turn the drums down a bit. Now, one thing you might notice is that when I go to the different tracks, you can see that the uh, strip actually updates. So you always know exactly at what position you're starting at. So I, if I go to the bass and I bring it down a little bit. Let's bring it down a little bit. See how that sounds. There we go. So there we go. So as I actually pan through the different tracks, I can actually update or it will update the strip so I know exactly where to start from. So it's kind of like having flying faders.
And that's really all I really uh, wanted to show you guys, just uh, to, to be able, if you've got really small desk space, <laughs> the Atom SQ does everything from, you can play your bass parts, you can play your piano parts, you can actually go into these different modes that I showed you here, you can mix an entire song with it, of course, it's only one track at a time, so it's like using one of the single fader fader ports, but it is still a fantastic option if uh, this is what you like doing, and you and you have very little room and uh, you really want a hands-on way to mix. You don't want to use the mouse. So I hope you guys got something out of that. Just a real short little demo on how it works. And I'll see you all in the next video.